Helen came to the Kaplan Feldman Holocaust Museum in July of 2021, right in the midst of pandemic, right in the midst of construction. She was hired as the director of education. She joined early enough in the museum writing and scripting process to really be able to impact the pedagogy of the Holocaust Museum to really understand the impact of the Holocaust on world history, you don't need to be Jewish. You need to be really listening to those various voices, the voices of those who are in the resistance, the voices of the liberators, the perspective from the story of the children, the perspective of those who were collaborators with the Nazis. Helen has brought that understanding of the impact of the Holocaust, absolutely on the Jewish community, but also on Poles, LGBTQIA people, people with disabilities. The Nazis were thorough in their hatred of anyone who did not fit that Aryan model. Helen is what I call a quiet leader. In a lot of organizations, the leader is the one out front, the leader is the one with the strongest voice, the leader is sometimes the one with the loudest voice. But Helen is a quiet leader. She knows the message that she's trying to deliver. She knows the audiences we need to reach. She knows the curriculum we're trying to develop. And she does it from a core of strength, and she does it calmly and quietly. She is a person relied on by the staff to bring order and calm things down and help people reach solution. And I think that's what an emerging leader does. We tease Helen because Helen has a couple of words that she uses so much that when we hear them, we laugh. For Helen, everything is beautiful or it's lovely. And she is beautiful and lovely. She's one of the emerging leaders of the country in Holocaust history. She's very well known in Holocaust education. We are so lucky to have her here at the Kaplan Feldman Holocaust Museum because of her training, but more importantly, because of her passion and understanding of Holocaust history.